Well, hello, my YouTube friends and family. So, yes, we have more romance novels. <laughs> so today, get a piece of paper and pencil if you like romance novels. These ones are 20 cents a piece, and there's going to be 10 that I'm showing. So, we're starting to get cheaper. So this book is called Major Distractions by Leslie Davis Gusion. I think that's how you say the last name. And the copyright's 1894. And I will put the ISBN numbers below. There's some writing in this. A lot of these types of books, it's usually like the shape of the book. So these probably have like a lot of age pages in them and some writing and stuff like that. Where my higher price books are a lot better in shape. We have Mariel by Ina Halliday, and the copyright on this book is 1982, and this is what this book looks like. And you can tell they have been very much read and lived, and I just saw an earmarked page, which I try to, what was it? There it is. I tried to bend these back up so they're not bent down when people get them. That's the back of it too. Tell it's well loved. So we'll do that flip again. <laughs> this is what the book looks like. So there you go. And the next book is A Little Moonlight by Betty Neals. And the copyright for this is 1991. This is what the book looks like. I'm gonna try to do a open flip through. As open as I can. And then this book is called Night of the Cotillion by Janet Daly. And the copyright on this one is 1976. So you're getting into some old Harlequin presents here. See how it's got the markings on the page. Some people use those markings as like a vintage look, but some of them, uh, I just kind of think they're old books that just need a little bit of a lesser price. <laughs> Somewhere in Time by Barbara Brenton, depending on the book. 1992. And like I said, instead of going to the landfill... And people that don't want to read these type of books or they get these type of books, you can always turn the pages into envelopes and turn them into something pretty. So there you go. Like this. Little envelopes that are really cute to stick in for Junk Journal and Femro. What things they nice about crafting. This book is called Holiday Blessings by Debbie Maycomer. And this book was written in 1984. Well loved. See all the nice creases. And then this has got like a rip on the back page. 20 cents that you can't beat it. Even for crafting you can't beat a book for 20 cents. And this book is actually, and sometimes I've even read books that were falling apart if I was interested and then crafted with them. <laughs> so it got double usage. From New York Times bestselling author Debbie Maycomer, Thanksgiving Prayer, armed only with her faith, a medical student sets out to battle the turbulent fears of a man whose tender touch has renewed her spirit. From the award-winning author Janet Pearl, The Risk of Loving, stranded in an airport one holiday eve, Two Lindley people rediscover the joys of faith and family. So that's what this is about. I love the picture on this. The next book is called Loose Change by Sarah Davidson. And the copyright on this one is 
1977. This is what this book looks like. And you could always make a list and of any of these books that you would like. As long as they amount to $2 or more, you give me the list. And I've had people actually do that through the bargain sites on Facebook. They'll send me a message and say, you know, can you bundle this or, you know, these books or something that, you know, live away. And then I put them together, bundle them up as a special order on my Etsy and I give them the link and they go in and purchase. So it makes it really easy for both of us. The Prodigal Sister by Catherine, Catherine George. Oh, and then I can um, ship them media as long as it's in the United States and make it cheaper. And 1984 is the copyright of this book. This is this book. And then this book here is called Worth Avenue by John McIvan. McIvan. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. 1983. This is what this book looks like. Very loved and worn. So I said I'm the homeless shelter for unwanted books. Refocus back in. That nobody wants. I just wish the library would quit putting the big discarded words in books. I mean, if you're going to stamp it, stamp it on one page, but not all through a book. I hate when they do that. kind of ruins the book. Some writing there. These ones kind of took a good beating. So this one says, Beyond Park Avenue, Beyond Ray Rodeo Drive, Worth Avenue, the most elegant street in America's most exclusive resort, world famous Palm Beach, where the most celebrated birds of paradise gather each season to meet, to hunt, to play. Christine the Cinderella, whose Prince Charming died for his country, a beautiful blonde widow alone at the ball. Harry Levine, if he takes her home, he loses his chance at a cool $2 million, and it's worth it. Elizabeth Davenport de Lodge, her great age and immense wealth, allow her certain unimensionable liberties. Sandy Davenport, the black sheep of his family. Art is his career, but Christine is his passionate obsession. Sounds like a really interesting book with a lot of mixture of characters. Like the palm tree. Okay. So the next book is called A No Risk Affair by Carol Mortimer. And 1985 is the copyright. And you know, some of these pages don't even need to stress because they're already aged like this book. Look at that cover. It's already aged. It's got some writing in it little spot this is what the pages look like and that concludes our, our 10 daily romance books cheers with hot cocoa it is really cold here not as bad as it was yesterday though it was in the single digits but today it's it's sunny out but we still got snow on the roads and stuff so it's chilly nice for hot cocoa weather so don't forget about the birthday giveaways i've only got two cards in ladies and guys get to send them cards as surely you know a woman that could use some gifts too for you guys out there get them postcards in to me we have to the end of the month i've only got two people entered in the contest so far and there's four giveaways so, you know, them two people are going to enjoy all this good stuff unless some other people start pouring in them things. But I really want the postcards because I will so cherish them in my postcard journal. And plus, it shows me you guys care. I want to see some of them postcards rolling in. I mean, not that I don't know. I don't. Not saying you don't care because you, you actually post in my comment section. But show the love so I can actually record you in my journal so i have proof that you cared <laughs> so anyways you guys have a great day
And I'll be back later, maybe. I don't know. It depends. Because I haven't even opened my boxy charm yet. And it's like way past due. So with that, thank you for spending some of your time with me. Bye.